all hamburger juice. It's your boy, Smoke Streeters Prime. I'm here. Check, check, check. We got us old roll call today, and what we looking at now is old Hordak, baby. Hordak himself, Skeletor's mentor, and one of the most dangerous foes in the Masters of the Universe. Universe. <laughs> So you know from the 2000 next line that this jugger no battle king hits, he's battled Bray Skull. No, 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 no. Take that back. Yeah, that's right. That's right. He, yeah, because he was the one who injured um, Bray Skull, uh, who mortally wounded Bray Skull. Excuse me, tongue got tired. But anyway, um, he also is the main antagonist for She-Ra, uh, that spinoff, so to speak, from back in the 80s. And uh, he's part of that line, so to speak. You see She-Ra at the bottom. You see the the that newer He-Man. You see Zodak. You see that newer Skeletor. And you see Catcher, who is also a member of the Horde, which is his faction. And let's open this bad boy up and take a look at him. Oh, one more thing in the front. He has the Princess of Power logo, has his name. So um, that lets you know it's not exactly the Masters of the Universe um, universe, but it's a coalition um, of that quote-unquote multiverse thing they got going on with the Princess of Power, who is She-Ra, who everyone knows, and if you don't know, is He-Man's twin sister, a.k.a. Adora, and a.k.a. Adam. Okay, so he comes with a good bit of accessories, and the first thing that jumped out to me is this right here, man. I'm saying this really cooks my grits, man. I'm, let me let you look. Look at that. How? How? How, man? That's just lazy. So I gotta fix that. I, I, I gotta fix that. And you no, know, a little one right here, a couple of little spots, but. Man, I mean, look at this. Man, what happened? Did he get, I mean, did he get jumped on the way coming here? I mean, what's going on, man? This first time in a while, Massiver is kind of letting me down, man, getting something that's kind of jacked up. But for the most part, the design is good. It's real reminiscent of the one from, um, from the 80s. The 2000X Joan was a little different. Man, also right here, you can see, you know, there's some, some hiccups. There's some hiccups in this bad boy in the armor and whatnot, but, you know, it can be, it can be adjusted. But just a simple fact, man, yeah, they got to do better than this. I mean, this is really, I mean, come on, this shows like you really just, man, look at that. You really just don't care. But anyway. Let's move on. I got to fix that. I, I do like the, the effect that you can switch it up with the different uh, appendages. You can put this on here. It's kind of hard. Kind of reminds me of trap jaw a little bit. Snaps on good. I wish it would have been the same color as this. This has a this has a sheen. I don't know how well it's coming up on camera. But this has a this has a sheen on here. Maybe that's better. This has a sheen on here where this one does not. Is uh it's like a dull a dull gray. Of course, it just pops on again. This part right here pops in easy as well. Let's see how he stands. Okay, there's really no issue with that. So pop that off. Of course, you know the fire effect, the shield. So with the shield, I guess I'm gonna have to pop this hand off. Put this one on, and let's see. It's like a clip on. Here's the shield. Nothing fancy about it. Of course, all the horde troopers always had the shield. I mean, not the shield, the crossbow. Sorry, not the shield, the crossbow. Looks on very well. Okay. 
take that off. I like how they're switching to the straps for the shields. Design is nice. Not sure if that's supposed to be, I guess it's supposed to be Horde Prime and not Hordak himself, but it looks like Hordak. But Horde Prime looks about the same, so you know. Put that on, slide that in there. And holds good. Holds good. So that's in there. Here's another arm, so you can pop this arm off. Easy to pop on and off. Let's see. Looks like it should. Like that. Ah, okay, so this right here will twist that way. So it goes in because it kind of threw me off. You can take that hand off. Put this one in. It's too bad he didn't have the um, he didn't have the staff. But uh, all in all, the figure looks good. Let's take a let's look at the head again. It looks very reminiscent of the cartoon from the '80s. He comes with a soft goods cape, which is what I like. I really don't like the plastic ones that much because it's too hard to you know try to get him to sit down form like if you got a throne or a chair or something like that let's see this looks like it can come off see. Okay. that off okay so this is a separate piece has the three um three holes in there got a clip on to this you can see that'll come off see no need to finish going with it, but that'll come off. Take this, slide it back on. In case you didn't want Hordak with the cape, and got them like that. All right, so we don't went through all the weapons and everything. Let's do a quick size comparison. Okay, so this is the 2000. I mean, um, the Origins one. No, I got for my son. He comes to customizing it with the big hand right there. But um, you can see some of the similarities. This looks more like the 2000X uh, version right here. Of course, he comes with the harder style cape. But um, reminiscent of the classic version. This is the two thousand, well, the classic version of the two thousand X uh, Hordak. Kind of like him a little more because he has that meaner expression. Um, I like the head design a little better than this Hordak, but you know, and he does seem to have a little bit more uh, color. You no, know, in, in certain places where he could have used color here. You look on the arm right there. He could have used, you know, some red would, some red would have been nice right there, like on this version of the 2000X. Uh, of course, he's a little, they're kind of close to the same height, but you know, it's still the Masterverse is still a little taller. But um, as you can see, the size, the size differences, and all of them, the Masterverse. One is definitely the tallest, but uh, all in all, uh, he looks good. Either one of these two, I think, is suffice. This is the buzzsaw uh, Hordak to the left. So over here is the uh, the classics uh, King Hiss, the one that you can swap the body parts off and put the, the heads on and whatnot, and. Um, it's you no know, nice size comparison. Now, of course, Hordak is taller because it's the Masterverse, but it looks good. Another one of um, He-Man's and King Grayskull's um, opponents. All right, so we got King Grayskull himself next to old Hordak. Of course, Hordak injured him in the 2000X. You heard me say already. I believe if not, that's what he did. 
he mortally wounded him. But uh, of course, this is not the same Grayskull that got injured. But nonetheless, King Grayskull gets Hordak rivals. And of course, as we move on, uh, He Man comes into the picture, and Hordak is one of the guys he has to deal with. Um, the well, the man guy he has to deal with in order to take over for a time, and then it moves on to where Shira becomes the main uh, opponent for Hordak. And last but certainly not least, we got old Skeletor up here with his mentor Hordak, and uh, you know Skeletor learned all his tricks from Hordak. But Hordak. Uh, at times, don't want anything to do with those Skeletor, but I think it looks real good there, size comparison. And of course, you know, if we got Hordak, the Horde is coming because we already got uh, Catra that's been shown, which is a member of the Horde. Got all those origin uh, Horde members, so you know the rest of them are coming. So with that being said, Hordak is a good figure. Of course, you're going to have to get him. You're going to have to add him to your collection. He's one of them figures you just got to have. And, um, you know, thank you for coming out. And like a fat kid in dog ball, I'm out, baby. And don't forget to like and subscribe.